So this week, here in February 2014, a fellow contacted me from northern Italy, the second guy to contact me from northern Italy. He didn't want us to use his name, but he wants to share the information. He says, Hi, Spaceman. I have the same problem as you with my neighbor dog. So following your suggestion and ideas, I built my cannon. I'm very satisfied of the results. The action is around 15 to 20 meters. So what he's saying there is 15 to 20 meters converted is about 50 to 60 feet for those of us who aren't on metric system. Now this gentleman in northern Italy is using a very, very standard oscillation ship. It's the 555. He sent the schematic that he ended up with. However, he found the basic schematic on the internet and modified it himself to meet his own needs. And look at the screen. You'll see that this is the schematic that he took a picture of and sent. It's, it's his schematic. And he described that he actually has two circuits here. The one on the left is the standard classic. You can find this uh, schematic anywhere. And on the right is something he added on. It's pretty standard too, but it's an amplification stage on the right. The oscillation circuit on the left with the 555 chip is run by a 9-volt battery or a power supply. And on the right side, he used a 12-volt battery to power the booster stage. He admitted that the 555 will probably run on 12 volts, and he may not have needed the final booster stage. One of the interesting and creative things that this guy did was he used an old telescope as the projection tube instead of a pipe. He took the horn off the piezo tweeter and just glued the driver element to one end of this old telescope with all the lenses removed. And here's a photo of the standard everyday generic tweeter that he used, the piezo tweeter. And again, you see on the front here, you see the horn part. And then the back of that is the transducer. And he only used the transducer. And one more thing, he said that the depth of the telescope barrel is about 20 centimeters, which is around seven inches. It looks a little deeper than that, but the idea is to project it through a tube. Uh, another thing, if you look at the schematic, a variable resistor is in there, or what's called a pot, and that's what's used to control the frequency, and he said he had to tune that to get the effect on the dog. His humorous statement about the effect on the dog, he said, when you reach the right frequency, the dog usually escapes into the house. Now, one last thing I want to say myself, and that is, I believe that this can work on some dogs and will not work on others. It's dog dependent. Depends on the size of the dog, depends on the hearing of the dog, and so forth.